Hello friends, this is Shivam and you are watching the very first tutorial of our new series of lectures that is data analysis using Python. In these tutorials, first of all we will explore the various fundamentals of Python for data analysis tasks. We will explore the various libraries, the data manipulation libraries like, uh, like Pandas, NumPy and various data visualization libraries like Matplotlib, Seaborn and plotly and then in the coming lectures we will implement the machine learning algorithms like regression algorithms clustering algorithms and classification algorithms we will we will see how to build a predictive model we will see how to build a classifier so first of all in this in this very first tutorial we will see the various fundamentals of using python as a data analysis task so in this very first lecture of getting started with data analysis using Python we will first of all do some mathematics using Python and then we will plot some basic plots using matplotlib and uh, one more thing I would like to add uh, for Python is that it is an open source programming language there are various packages there are various libraries which are built which are uh, built and uploaded over the internet and you can use any of these libraries you can import any of these packages in your environment and use them so that is the reason why python is used widely for data analysis tasks so so this is the reason that python is widely used so now let's get started and let's do some maths in python so first of all we need we will be importing the various libraries now to import any library what you need to do is use the import command importing the libraries so you can use the import command import we will import two libraries over here import sys and import io so this is the way to import libraries in python and to get help over any object or any package or anything that you want to get help on you just write the name and then give a question mark and then hit enter and it will show you what is that and what it what it does and the various details or related to that so this is the re this is the way of getting help in in this Jupyter environment and uh, let's do some mathematics let's do some maths with the, let's do some maths 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 let's do some maths yeah so uh, we will some, first of all we will declare some variables like we will declare x is equal to 10 x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5 and then z is equal to x plus y let's declare these variables now to print any variable like we would print z here we need to just print it and uh, that's it. We can also perform the string operations on a string using Python. Like we will declare two strings, like the first string word one, then word two. Hello Python. Python. Yeah. And now we can make the sentence using these two words like word one plus 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 we will enter a space between these two words and uh, then the word two word two 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 two, two. yeah so now we will print this sentence we will print the sentence so here it is so this is the way we can operate on strings in python and we can also do various tasks such as the addition multiplication division this kind of mathematical tasks using python like print x plus x plus y print x minus y print x multiplied by y and 
print x divided by y let's see the output so here it is and uh, we can now we will do some plotting in python let's let's do some plotting so first of all we will define some variables we will define a list of integers one oh my sorry oops one comma two what is happening two comma four comma five and in the same way we will define the y for it so it is let us define three comma four comma one comma four comma zero so now we have defined these variables now to plot the any graph any image in Jupiter what you need to do is to is to give it a command for the matplotlib like you can give the command it is percentage matplotlib in line now it knows that it has to print the graphical output in the same cell so now let hit enter and now we will be importing the matplotlib package which is a, it is a very basic basic package for data visualization by plot as plt so we will be importing it and now we will plot the graph of these two variables x and y plt dot plot plt dot plot x and y x comma y so hit the enter and this is the graph for x and y you can see that there are five points five integers for both x and y and you can see that there are five points for this graph so this is the basic graph of a line chart a line graph for x and y in the same way you can print the scatter plot for the x and y like we will plot a scatter plot scatter plot x comma y so that's it this is the scatter plot and uh, you can also say that uh, you can also do some other additions in your plotting like you can use the colors for it x comma y comma comma marker you can put a marker over there marker is equal to it then these points will be converted to any marker that you provide let's provide a star okay and uh, s is equal to say 100 so now you can see that these are converted to stars so this is the very basic things that we did over here what we did is we we discussed the various uh, various uh, techniques to import the libraries in python we imported the libraries we we see how to use the help command and then we perform some basic mathematic mathematical tasks in python and then we just did some string operations in python and uh, then we did some kind of plotting so this was the very first tutorial of of, of the getting started with python and uh, i hope this would have been useful and in the next coming lectures we will discuss we will explore the various libraries of python and and the various machine learning tasks of data analysis using python so thank you very much for watching